It is a scorching afternoon as a determined motley crew in a pickup truck makes its way from the bustling city of Oshogbo, the capital of the state of Oshun in southwestern Nigeria, to the historic town of Ilesha, about 45 kilometers away. The well-worn vehicle bears what the Oshun state government believes is its most valuable investment ever, a radical and ambitious idea with which it intends to reform education in not only Oshun state, but perhaps the entire country and possibly the whole world. Across the state, similar trips are being made to all public senior secondary schools to introduce a device that was developed out of the extreme necessity to reverse decades of neglect of the state's educational infrastructure and core systems. When we assumed office in November of 2010, the condition of the state was very, very bad. In all spheres, in education, it was terrible. In the environment, it was bad. Generally, the state of the state was not attractive at all. It was quite depressing. When we came into governance in the state of Oshun, Precisely on the 27th of November, after we regained a mandate, what we met on ground in the educational field was appalling. There was a near total collapse in the education sector. And uh, we found this highly unacceptable. A situation where only 3% of our students were matriculable the school set performance at that level was just too horrible. We had to be radical. And one of the major things we did was to introduce technology and ICT to drive education at this level, at the high school level. The result is Okpoimo a standalone e-learning device that runs on an Android-based platform, providing each student and teacher three key elements for effective technology-driven learning. A point more is a sophisticated electronic learning device um, that is designed for our students in senior secondary school. The purpose is to help them pass the exams successfully. I was at a mall in Docklands. And in the mall, while I'm moving around, I didn't go there to buy anything actually. I just went for sightseeing, what we call window shopping. I got into a fairly big bookshop in the mall. And uh, while I'm moving around the bookshop, I saw this uh, e learning tablet. No, e reader, not e learning, e reader, electronic reader. It's a tablet. It had about he had some books not many probably 10 books on the e-reader i've seen e-readers before then but at that instance a friend of mine just looked at me and said would it not be good if we adapt this for our children in schools clearly the message sunk and i, I began from that moment looking at how we could get digitized textbooks for our students. Well, we, we, we tried a lot of things before we came up with Okmoimo. I mean, you should see Okmoimo the way it is now. And if you were to compare with what it was before, you'd be amazed at the number of um, changes we've made and the innovations that have taken place to make it what it is today. Um, we had an exercise, in, um, a mini pilot exercise at um, at the Tower Jazz School of Science, where we found, we tested a beta solution of the, of the, of Okmoimo. And all the findings were, you know, taken back, you know, analyzed, and we came up with a better solution. We also did a fitness for purpose exercise where we tested, you know, durability of the tablets, the resistance of the tablets to drops, the resistance of the tablets to heat, rain, and water. And we came up with innovative solutions. Like if you notice, Okmoimo ships with a leather pouch 
and you know the way the leather pouch holds the tablet even if it drops it, it, it protects it um, from you know instant shock when it hits the ground and also protects it from you know the normal handling of day-to-day -day handling by the students so this solution has moved from you know just three buttons that you know have various functions to number of buttons and number of functionalities that create that integral nature of the software as you see it the strength of the Okboimo tablet is in its content. With 56 textbooks, over 40,000 questions, lesson notes, and supporting materials, it was specifically designed to meet the academic needs of the average senior secondary school student. Okboimo is built on an Android operating system. It is subdivided into three major environments, namely the virtual learning environment, the e-library and the test zone. The virtual learning environment is that environment that houses all of the lesson notes for 17 subjects as produced by our master teachers. The test center has 40,000 past questions and answers for the 17 subjects and for the past 10 years of German WAEC. The e-library has in it 56 textbooks for the 17 subjects we offer in the States um, electronically. To ensure the content's compatibility, relevance, and maximum impact for the student, an arsenal of experienced and dedicated teachers was assembled from all over the state. When we were working on it, we had an understanding that there was a change in the curriculum. There's a new curriculum by the federal government, and uh, we had to send somebody, the government sent somebody to Abuja you know, to go and get the new curriculum so that, you know, we had to start the work all over again in line with the new curriculum. So talking about the curriculum, as a matter of fact, the curriculum made up the content of the appointment. Okpamo is one of the instructional material of the highest order because the simulation and everything is there for them. The student will see the picture, they will see the contents, the questions are there for them. So all what the teacher, teacher needs now is that get to the class, let them bring the thing out and start teaching. By the time the first phase of the distribution of the Okboimo tablet is completed, 150,000 students will own personalized tablets across Oshun State. In some cases, introducing a computer into the family for the first time. Let me tell you what to gain with appointment. With the manual test book, I doubt if any, any parent, I doubt if any government can provide all the books required for education. If, if you don't want to look at the, 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 the knowledge advantage, the learning advantage, the physical, cost of having to carry on a daily basis bulk books in your back pack you now have instead a small a small device that you can carry everywhere everywhere you are the beauty of it is that you don't really even have to be in school to learn this subject they're already there with the device, you can sit comfortably in your room and study. So it gives the student the opportunity of preparing in advance some of the lessons or studies they will have to do in normal formal school. So if you're able to go through some of these things, by then you go to the classroom. It's like you're revising what ordinarily you have, you have learned on your own. The students were given their own tablets. I handled mine and looking at it, it's as if we are bringing the whole class together, at least flipping through, 
the screen, they are also handling their own. So if I want to at least teach them, I will refer them to the page I want them to go. So easily they can easily flip through the tablet themselves. I feel excited about receiving the appointment because what I've been hearing about it because they say it's good for us to um, for us to study and it will be the easiest means for students to study instead of wasting our energy going to the bookshop to get some books. I feel excited about it because I've never thought it before. I've even never seen it before. So for me, it's like fun. It's very good. It will aid our learning and it will make us more adapt to everything I want to know. If we want to do any exam now, uh, we we only go, we only buy series. We only struggle to buy series to go around to go and borrow textbook. If you don't have that textbook, uh, we'll go to borrow it. But this Okmoma, it consists of everything. Instead of us to be to be buying to be borrowing textbook, uh, to be borrowing textbook that they will even insert up because, uh, before they give us this, we'll just bring out this Okmoma and go straight to the subject that we want to. This is Okmoma. There is no buying of textbook again. No series. No, I'm very very glad. Going to change the way I teach in the sense that it will now help me in teaching them, and at least in teaching the students in a modern way. Now that everybody everywhere is now computer, computer here and there. If you want to do anything now, it's online. So it will help me in teaching the students on how to get themselves familiar with uh, the use of uh, computer. It's going to help me to teach modern topics because we have some certain topics in my subject that were not inside the textbooks. But having gone through this appointment, I observed that they were there and they'd be able to comprehend better than when I was using textbooks. For many students and their families, the Okmoimo tablet is a welcome end to the cost of education as it eliminates the need to purchase textbooks and other learning materials. Because the cost of purchasing 56 textbooks for each of the 150,000 pupils in our high school, that alone will require 8.4 billion naira. But it is a, a micro fraction of that that we have spent on the digitized copies of the of the of the textbooks in your poem. You know, we lose the appointment here. So we work in the day one year work. It has really helped in so many ways. Talking of you know financial aspect, like you want to buy this, you want to buy this textbook, you want to buy that textbook. Like the one he just mentioned earlier on, the intensive something. He has been telling me about that textbook. For well, at least about uh, two to three days, time that I've been like telling him that we get it for him, you understand? But with this now, I think one won't have to start bothering him or herself about trying to buy something, I mean, buy textbook or buy notebooks and all that. In the Ade Kunle family, the Okmoimo poses an interesting dynamic as one of the children will not be a beneficiary of the initiative due to the fact that she attends private school while her sisters are enrolled in public school. The pupils in our public schools get appointment free of charge. Those in private schools, because they have abandoned the public schools for private school and they are ready and willing and capable of paying the fees of uh, private schools, you have to pay for the device. So once there is the, the desire to acquire, as I've said, there will be a point for them to buy. The ability of the Austrian state government to provide the Opoimo tablets to its growing population of students and teachers needs to be maintained and supported. Currently we're in the installation plan, as you can see behind me, and the installation process is currently ongoing. We have a quality assurance team here that tests every tablet to see that they meet the standards that is required by the Project Management Office. And after this, we move to the actual rollout. We'll be rolling out across the nine federal constituencies in the state of Washington. And um, 
we intend to have support centers across these nine federal constituencies where each support center will be headed by a supervisor. We're going to have store managers, we have a school liaison team, we have the dispatch team and um, the training and the support team. We're going to be installing 100,000 tablets here at first to complete the whole 150,000. We're going to employ more people, uh, more techie people and we have like units, sorry, um, distribution points across the, um, the states. With the electricity situation in our country, how am I, how, 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 how am I overcoming that challenge? And the answer is this, we are, we are providing in the schools communal solar charger that will ensure that whoever has the, the device, the tablet, can charge it through the solar, communal solar charging pillars that will be installed in virtually all the schools where this device is uh, supplied. We will have internet facilities in all our schools and that will be controlled. So that is what a responsible and responsive government will do. For now, the students are themselves undergoing their own internal reforms. With their Okmoimo tablets, the state is saying to its children ever so emphatically, you are our future and we place a premium on you. They hold a tablet of knowledge and a tool for change. It is on record that this state is one of the first states in this country to come up with the state of the high schools. For the elementary schools, we are building 100 state of the art school. You could see the model. By the time the schools are ready, you will find that in the state of Oshun. Education is powerfully driven with technology. So we are confident that with what we have in place, our children will perform optimally. I see a future where, through Okmoimo, performances of our students will have improved remarkably. I also see a future where Oshun will be seen as a crucible of creative thoughts, a place where dreams of generation become reality. I see a, a future where we'll have narrowed the digital divide in Oshun. A future where we'll have etched or erased completely the lines of technological iniquity. That's the future I see in Oshun. Please, my brothers and sisters, worldwide, you are welcome to the state of Oshun, where education has been democratized through the use of tablets of knowledge, which is affordable, easy to use, and ready for students who must be encouraged to have sound, functional, and quality education.